Hey guys, welcome to USMLE team. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about hypoparathyroidism. Uh, before starting, let me uh, I, will, I request you to subscribe to my channel and keep looking into my channel for a new videos every time I download new videos on uh, important topics for USMLE examination. So that's why I request you to subscribe so that you will come to know important points. If I made any mistakes during the presentation, please let me know. I'm here to correct. Um, I need your help. Okay, so let me start with this hypoparathyroidism. Okay, hypoparathyroidism is a condition of parathyroid hormone deficiency, right? So PTH deficiency. So if you know the axis and the action of PTH, then definitely it's very easy to understand what is P hypoparathyroidism is right let me start okay in the previous two videos i explained you the hyperparathyroidism primary and the secondary and the tertiary so this is a hyperparathyroidism so again i am explaining the same thing the physiology right so try to concentrate sit back and just listen okay uh, it increases look the two things what you need to remember about the pdh is it increases the calcium level in the blood and the decreases the phosphorus level in the blood okay pituitary pituitary secretes the pth so it acts on the following organs you need to remember the kidney intestine and the bone in kidney it causes a reabsorption of the calcium prevents a calcium excretion so the hypercalcemia results in intestine it causes absorption of the calcium so hypercalcemia results the bone causes resorption of the calcium from the bone it takes out the calcium from the bone send it to the blood so that hypercalcemia results so what happens to the bone bone goes weaker right remember this is the normal physiology i'm discussing about so ultimately raises the calcium and the lowers the ph okay okay before that if you want to know how it lowers the ph uh, there is a uh, phosph sorry phosphate uh, it causes um, excretion of uh, phosphorus from the kidney so it lowers the phosphate in the blood this is how it acts okay um, okay let me start in the absence of adequate pth activity the ionized calcium concentration in the extracellular fluid falls below the reference range so what happens when there is a high primary hypoparathyroidism the pth level is not increased it is decreased so the calcium level starts falling below the normal range so hypocalcemia results secondary hypoparathyroidism is a physiological state in which pth levels are low in response to a primary process that causes hypercalcemia right there is a hypercalcemia because of some reason some because of some other causes so that this hypercalcemia goes and negative feedbacks the um, pituitary so the pituitary does not secrete pth so lowers in a hypoparathyroidism that is secondary okay what is the primary you remember low uh, sec less secretion of the pth from the pituitary itself so the symptoms and the signs are very important because in usmle they will give the signs and the symptoms you need to diagnose it clinically rather than any examining uh, any lab findings Sometimes they give lab findings, but you need to remember about the clinical findings. So, parasthesia involving fingertips, toes, perioral area, hyper irritability, fatigue, anxiety, mood swings, seizures, hoarseness, wheezing, and the dys dyspnea, muscle cramps, diaphoresis, and a biliary colic. Remember, the rest you can remember. The most important thing what you need to remember is hypomagnesemia, hypokalemia, and alkalosis. Remember, this is very important point. Okay, there are two signs important, very important signs. There is chastic signs and trousers signs. The facial twitching, especially around the mouth, is induced by gentle tapping the ipsilateral facial nerve as it courses just anterior to the ear. So chastic C C comes first, so it's on the facial. Remember that's it. Rest you know how to do it. Trousers sign carpal spasm is induced by inflating the blood pressure cuff around the arm to a pressure 20 milli meter of mercury above the obliteration of radial pulse for three to five minutes this is how it is done they will not ask you how it is done but they can say on uh, 
blood pressure cuff around the arm to a pressure there was an um, spasm right so you need to remember what is trousers sign is hypocalcemia of the primary hypoparathyroidism may cause extra pyramidal choreoethetoid syndrome in the patient with a basal ganglia calcification remember about the basal ganglia calcification spastic paraplegia ataxia dysphagia and dysarthria have been documented in patients associated with the hypoparathyroidism induced hypocalcemia severe hypoglycemia causes papilledema which improves with the treatment of calcium okay there are other things emotional instability anxiety depression confusion hallucination psychosis okay remember if you want to remember remember if you want to forget forget that's it okay uh, nothing much important about it but uh, it's good if you remember because uh, you know electrolytes is very important for you assembly they always confuse you with the hypercalcemia hypercalcemia hypokalemia hypercalemia hypernatremia hyponatremia how do you manage how do you diagnose very important so autoimmune polyglandular syndrome remember about this only one point idiopathic hypoparathyroidism is associated with the adrenal insufficiency and monialiasis okay that's very important you need to remember about autoimmune polyglandular syndrome idiopathic hypoparathyroidism associated with adrenal insufficiency and monialiasis okay primary hypoparathyroidism is defined by a low concentration of pth with concomitant low calcium levels okay so because of the low pth the calcium is low that's how you have to remember for a primary in a zero hypoparathyroidism the serum pth concentration is elevated as a result of resistance to the pth caused by mutation in the pth receptor gene when there is a mutation in the pth receptor even though the pth is high in the blood it does not act so what happens it does not when it does not act so calcium level drops and the whatever pth you are having in the blood is just like the waste right so it's not acting is like waste right okay in secondary hypoparathyroidism the serum pth concentration is low and the serum calcium concentration is elevated so how you have to remember secondary is not in the gland so it's secondary right that's why it's called secondary so why the P now the hypoparathyroidism feature has to be completed what is that the criteria pth should be low so how it can be low when well, elevate the calcium level so this is how the secondary hypoparathyroidism is okay the calcium ion is highly bound to protein very important a total calcium level cannot be interpreted without a total protein or a albumin level so if you want to say the total calcium level so before telling the ionized calcium is very important and you need to remember the calcium levels cannot be interpreted without total protein and albumin level hypoalbuminemia causes drop in total calcium concentration remember hypoalbuminemia hypoalbuminemia causes drop in total concentration measurement of 25 hydroxy vitamin d is necessary serum magnesium hypomagnesemia may cause pth deficiency and subsequent hypocalcemia so magnesium decreases pth decreases magnesium de decreases pth decreases so calcium decreases all decreases all decreases okay remember very important point for you assembly they will correlate you they will ask you and the patient uh, the suspect of diagnosis of having a uh, uh, primary hyperparathyroidism which of the following could be seen in this patient hypomagnesium i remember about this uh, treatment of the patient with the hyperparathyroidism involves correcting the hypocalcemia by administering calcium and the vitamin d right auto transplant is usually placed subcutaneously in the forearm or in the neck so this is how it is done a diet rich in the calcium content is advised okay uh thank you so much for watching my video if you have any questions please let me know if i make any mistake um, uh please let me know i will correct and uh, thank you so much for watching please keep subscribing i will keep posting more videos right now i'm concentrating more on a usm step three and a step two ck thank you so much